hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video i am going to introduce you this small little nifty tool which i just stumbled upon in the github that enables you to do video translation and voiceover this tool which is called as pi video trans it enables you to translate videos from one language into a specified language and automatically generates and adds subtitles and voiceovers in that language the voice recognition supports faster whisper model openai whisper google speech and also a couple of models from alibaba text translation supports microsoft translator google translate baidu translate and various other optimizations including chat gpt text to speech synthesis is also available and there are a lot of options there like openai tts 11 lab tts and the list goes on and on the languages which it supports at the moment are quite broad including chinese english korean japanese russian french german italian spanish portuguese vietnamese thai arabic hindi ukrainian turkish and there are few more from europe and south east asia like malay which is quite interesting so what it does is it translates audio in a video and then into another language dubbing and embed the subtitles in that language you can get this tool installed on windows mac various flavors of linux installation on mac and linux is quite patchy i must say there are a lot of prerequisites which you need to install i haven't tried it out but what i have read through you would have to install a lot of stuff and doesn't seem like much solid there i think um, the recommended way would be to get it installed on windows and that is what i'm going to show you in this video the reason being is that if you go through their github repo they have shared this prepackaged version which you um, need to just unzip it to your local directory without any spaces and then you should be able to use it behind the scene i believe it just uses a very tiny model which is around under 2 gig size so let's see how it works so let me click here and download the model so as soon as you click on that link it takes you here uh, where you would see that this is the windows 10 and windows 11 let me click on download and once i click on this download link you see that at the top right it is downloading it so make sure that you have 7 zip installed on your local system and you can see that i have downloaded it on my local system here and then make sure that there is no space in your path once that's done just say extract here let's wait for it to get extracted and the file is extracted Now once that's done all you need to do is to double click on this sp.exe let me double click it and wait for it to launch and if you get this is just click on more info and then run anyway let's wait for it to load and after a few seconds you will see this interface which you can readily use if i just make it bigger here then you can see that there are a lot of uh, functions where you can just select the video at the top left and then you can just say translate channel maybe you can use google this is the source language english whatever your target language chinese or whatever you want to use if you are behind proxy you can use that to access internet and then you can uh, for text to speech you can use https or there are a lot of other options you can even go with open ai's one or 11 lab and then if you want you can give it any dubbing role uh, which you can check out plus you can do some dubbing speed and all that usual standard stuff if you are using a gpu just enable uh, the cuda and because i have a gpu on this system it is a10g so i just have enabled cuda and then once that's done you can just simply click on start here and so let me select a sample small video here so i'm just selecting this mp4 video from my local system i have selected it target uh, i have spoken it in english so maybe i'll just go i'll say okay i just want to go with maybe thai here and then i don't want any dubbing role and all i need to do is to just click on start here so once you click on start it is going to extract the audio 
that is done and then it is just converting it so let's wait for it to complete it is going to take a bit of a time of course and you can see that it is just translating it in the seconds frame by frame very good stuff it's not a big video but still it is quite interesting and uh, another good thing is that on the right hand side you can see uh, file language do, do you see that i'll just there you go it's already done and then you can just simply click here and this is my um, this is the english i guess and then this is the srt file so let me open it and this srt format is primarily the it is called a sub rip transcript file which is a plain text file containing subtitles or captions for a video and so let if i open it maybe you, you can open it with simply notepad and you will see that it has transcribed it from this to this in this thai language this is a live cam that is true i was doing live cam there and then uh, you can see that it has included a subtitle and everything and uh, this is again i'll just open it to show you this is the english transcription so it has done both english and thai language and this is the resultant uh, audio so i don't think so you'd be able to hear it because i am just using it uh, yeah so because i i'm on my virtual machine so the mic and the speakers don't work here but it has uh, converted it into thai in the output so you see that there are a lot of um, good stuff here plus you can even do a lot of other things like you can even merge the subtitle videos you can do speech recognition text here from text to speech you can separate the video from audio and then all you need to do just double click select your audio or video from here and then use it you can even mix two audio streams you can combine two subtitles there are a lot of options with such a little nifty tool that is really really a good stuff and then you can even extract srt and translate i think we already saw that sort of stuff and then this is a standard function mode and if you're just starting out you can just simply go on the top left in the minimalist newbie mode here you can just select your video again so maybe i'll just select it again maybe i'll uh, i'll just go with this one and then from i'm um, this is english i'll just select maybe something else maybe i'll go with spanish and then you can you see that say that select the video you want to translate and set the original language of the video and the language you want to translate to so do you want dubbing or no i'll just say okay let's go with lorenzo maybe any spanish name let's go with this one and then click on start processing let's wait for it to finish it is doing the same thing which we saw earlier and there you go so it has produced a spanish version and then there is an original english version and then it has also produced that uh, srt format so i'll quickly show you the srt format there you go so this is our spanish transcription now let me copy these because this virtual machine doesn't have speaker but uh, let me copy it to my local system and then i will play both english and this spanish one so let me copy it okay so first i'm going to play the english one the original audio let's listen to it this is just a sample video for deep life cam i hope that you're enjoying the content on the channel and learning it uh, please also share whatever you learn because it is uh, a combined journey of learning and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much okay so, so this was the english version let me play the spanish one Hola chicos, bienvenidos al canal. Este es solo un video simple para una cámara profunda en vivo. Espero que estés disfrutando del contenido del canal y aprendiéndolo. Comparta también lo que haya aprendido porque es un viaje combinado de aprendizaje. Y si te gusta el contenido, considera suscribirte al canal. So pretty good stuff, I should say. Um... I know that the video didn't play but I think this is some issue with my system otherwise you can also it 
simply just convert the video to in the uh, m4a format so all in all pretty good tool i should say quite and the good thing is that quite free it just uses a local modder under 2 gig you don't have to download and install a lot of stuff there and works on windows uh, but i think you can also get it working on mac and linux with a lot of uh, pain but at the moment i guess anyway i will drop the link to its repo in video description play around with it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching